Okay, my wonderful friends, Roger Spur at uh, MFU, and I have evidence to support electron flood theory, which is my dipole particle called electrons. They not only have a concussive portion, they have a black dark particle, which is called a muon. Now, they have now started to come around, this is just a day or so ago, electrons waiting their turn in a new model, explains virtually everything. My electron flood theory explains every single thing that we, if you can come up with any interaction in chemistry, physics, outer space, biology, present it to me and I can explain it with electron flood theory. Okay, my friends, this is not good news. Why are we having these massive heat waves all across the country? On the East Coast, 96 degrees up in Maine, 95, 98, where I am right now. I mean, yesterday they showed 96, but I think yesterday was 98. Now, why are we having this? This was the worst drought ever in 2020, very severe and extreme. But guess what? 2021 is like a zillion times worse. Boom, this is 2021. We're in desperate trouble. Now, why are these things happening? I'm going to explain to you why. All right, these are the push to shove particles. We're spinning around, around, around. All of the things that are hitting us, we're scrubbing them just like scrubbing the pavement with our tires. And the bigger the tire gets, the scrubber the scrub gets, the hotter the hot gets. Now, around the sun, its corona is millions of degrees and the surface is only 6,000. <laughs> Why? That's scrubbing too and it's scrubbing because the Sun is being ripped through the arm of the galaxy as we are as well. We are additionally spinning. I guess the Sun spins as well too but primarily I believe the Sun is being ripped through the galaxy on the arm of the Milky Way and, and we all are but that's millions out here, six to seven thousand on the surface. No explanation whatsoever for it from physics. Okay, this is the issue with the Sun is spinning slowly but going forward ripped through the arm of the Milky Way. We're spinning behind it, following it, being dragged by the gravity of the Sun pulling us forward with it. Us trying to catch up with its dark matter as all particles try to interact with dark matter, spinning just as all particles spin. I'll show you the particles spinning. We've seen all of this in micro. I show the exact particles. They're spinning like this. That's why it looks like a drill bit. You see it coming across here? They're spinning particles. When they come out the other side, these explosive particles push each other side to side. That's what makes the interference patterns, not waves flapping over each other that way and this way. This is a single slit. Light spins. And they know this now. They, they're showing this in their experiments as well. See, they show the same exact same thing. There's a right hand spin coming out of there. All of these are the white spray that I showed. They don't have any idea about the black particle, which is the muon, just waiting around to slam back in as I showed. Now this is talking about the ionosphere. The temperatures in the ionosphere just keep getting hotter as you go up. Scrubber and scrubber and scrubber. At the edge of the ionosphere where it scrubs with what they call a vacuum of space, which is nothing more than a saturation of electrons and photons and solar particles, radiation coming to Earth to interact, the scrub is intense, absolutely intense. So it gets hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. At the edge is where you have the extreme reaction of electron to electron push to shove. I'm sure you sense a little frustration, but I've shown this minimum 500 times. We had this finished in 2006. There's the light from a pulse red laser. Okay, this is extremely simple. This is a, a pulsed red laser. I showed you before. It has a particle in the center and a magnetic field around it. The magnetic field here is the wave. The particle is way back here, but it's pulled out of the wave because of the venturi forcing it to compress the magnetic field. And then instead of having this, whoops, the black and the white ball attached together, they explode and separate. Before I just showed you, and I'll show you again in great detail, 
these balls are attached together as photons coming through the air. A white and black, a, white, a black and a white. They're two bar magnets, literally. One of them is extremely aggressive, attacks and invades electricity, static, lightning. Two of them together bounce off you and create light. Simple as that. Now, these all added together at 1839 particles, 1840, they make a proton or a neutron. And they know this. They say, oh, you can lose an electron and turn a neutron into a proton. Well, obviously, if it's got an extra electron, it's made of electrons. And that's the only way you can have a dipole nucleus. It's, it's always been crazy, this Bohr model. That's why they can't even figure out gravity. That's gravity right there. It pulls the white particles, and that's all it does. It does not explode. Explode. It does not uh, emit. It does not absorb. All it does is attract the white particles. Now they're showing you little cartoons of particles coming in, light particles, smashing into something, which they don't know what it is, and creating these little spin-offs. Well, this is what it is, only we show it as it actually occurs in real time. And here it is right now. Uh, here's what we're happening right now. Pulse red laser. Bip, 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 bip. Well, green is exactly the same, and you will see a particle just like that that's deep in the center of this ball. The ball is the magnetic region, the particle is in the center. Particle wave duality. As it comes out, everything has to get away from it. So you have waves. Then, because we ran it through a venturi, it sucked the particle right out, and we see the photons. Photons are nothing more than two electrons back to back. That gives you up spin and down spin and, it, and when they separate you end up with muons and electron showers after they separate out into the what we would call an electron which has a dark side we never knew about. It has a powerful side and it also has a dark side. Now I'm going to explain this in extreme detail and until this is understood we're never going to get anywhere. We're just walking around in circles. They don't realize everything there is is made of these tiny little particles. This is electron flood theory. When that particle came in as a box, like the photon, it exploded and the black ball walked away. It's called a muon and the white is the electron shower. Fully understood by CERN, they just don't know how it got there and they don't understand that the Everything there is is dipoles. It is no other possibility. And I can show this in so much detail. It's just stunning that it's been overlooked and refused to be looked at. I've sent this to everyone. Photons are nothing more than two electrons back to back like little bar magnets. They have a field around them. The particles in the center, the fields around them. Now, when you turn into atoms, the smallest number of these electrons that is stable, semi-stable really, is hydrogen. And that is 1839 or 1840 electrons back to back. The dark goes to the center, the concussive part is on the outside, and when you spark it off, boom, all those electrons explode into individual components because they're just falling apart from the, from the mass that they're attached to. It's just like a ball of little tiny magnets like this. Only the outside of this ball is where all your negativeness is. The center is where your dark matter goes to. Because it doesn't mind being next to each other and it pulls all the white in around it. So you have a ball of energetic particles with your main dark suckers in the center. That's what an atom is. And then you get the molecules, they just get bigger and bigger, and then their clouds interact with their electrons that want to get each, into each other's centers. That's what it is. It's attraction to the center of this dark matter, which is called muons, dark matter attached to electrons. I show them in extreme detail, and I will right now. Now, this is a video from 2016 where we had already finished, I think it was 2016, maybe 2015, we had already had all this stuff done. And that's exactly what 
CERN wants to see is the muon and the electron showers. They just can't give us any credit for doing it because it makes them look silly. I'm, I'm sorry, it does. And we've gone so far beyond this now that this now, look at this. This is the individual little particles. I, it appears now. I just got this stuff, so we're digging into it. As they come back together, they slam back together in extreme amounts of energy, as you can see. These are other bits and pieces that are, this is where it gets a little confusing. Are, 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 is this a bigger chunk, or is this already started to congeal, or are there so many different sizes that I've never even considered? So they're smaller than actual electrons. I don't know. Once they go through the Venturi and they come out the other side, the electron showers are just white at some point. Let me show you. Now, I'm pretty sure what we're just looking at is the reattachments over here to the black, to the white, and all these little bits and pieces. Now, are they bigger and smaller? I don't know. But I can tell you one thing. When it came in, that was a box of particles. At one point, it was just like this. And they slam into here, and because the white ones have fields that surround them that want to push each other away, they it literally force the black ones just to leave. Now, as the this is extremely increased energy. They say a minimum 200 times more than when it started. That's what CERN says. Now, here they come back together. Now, I believe what Dylan w was photographing was enhancing something in this area where they are, the reattachment occurs. And all of this stuff spins exactly like they were just talking about in the article I think I showed you in the beginning. That they, they, they realize now the electrons are the things that cause these showers and cause heat and everything else. It's, it's obvious. And they are coming from the sun, interacting with our outer atmosphere, creating enormous amounts of heat, over 2700 degrees, where we scrub against those particles coming at us. This is just like our, our Earth scrubbing around here as it spins, with all these things crushing against it. Obviously it's going to get hot. And it's getting hotter and hotter because we put more and more gases in and it swells up. It's not carbon dioxide. It's any expansion. So any solid particle that turns into a gas or a liquid into a gas creates an enormous volume compared to what it was when it was in its, in its solid state. And every time we burn anything, any time we boil anything, any time we do 5G, which is just nothing more than an evaporator, we create enormous amounts of gaseous expansion. That's the problem with our solar, with our um, global warming, is, is primarily that's it. 